Hello, my name is Masafumi Ota. I would like to talk my experience how to teach open source licenses and compliances at a Japanese university. This is me. I have started teaching open source licenses and compliances at a Japanese major university since last year and used to contribute many more open source projects over a decade. Now, I have a um, contributing on the Raspberry Pi project with um, the Raspberry Pi Foundation and Raspberry Pi Trading in Asian area. This is agenda. It was first time to teach open source license last year. Your feedback and very welcome to improve my lecture this year after my session. The opportunity to teach open source licenses and compliances. Why I have a chance to teach open source license and compliances at the university? It was student's request. I had returned to this university as a student in three years ago. It was really great time to study computer science. I have a chance to talk some staff who used to help me studying also. After graduation, I have a chance to start a chance to talk to staff at the university. In two years ago, they are looking for the lecturer who teach open source licenses and compliances. At the same time, I was annoyed with many questions about open source licenses on Raspberry Pi OS because Raspberry Pi on business now getting increased. I had to have a many time to discuss the licenses on its operating system. I have also discussed with the Raspberry Pi trading guys and investigated many things by myself. As a result, I have some more knowledge to cope with some the incidents. So, I could teach students how to deal with it. I have applied lecture be as a star. Lately, there are many violation incidents of open source licenses are now getting increased. Especially, we can see the license violations about Mastodon, which has AGPL licenses. Some of you know it is familiar Trump truth by Trump is violated AGPL licenses. Software Freedom Convergency blocked its violation, you know. In Japan, there are similar incident violated Mastodon AGPL. Three new had to disclose their source code of modified Mastodon aligned Twitter's features because of the SNS demand. Compliance is really important for a business. We must not hold for violation trap in open source licenses. Many of enterprise company actually train their employees how to deal with um, OSS license in the business and getting nervous dealing with it. I am really sad some of people lack to expect to on the open source software authors and creators because 
they work very hard to keep open source project. Lately, their colors and faker incident in Node.js, but it is only er erratic behaviors. Perhaps he wants someone to understand ha his hard work and respect him. I saw the similar case in the Open Flares project, and uh, he contributed and uh, his hardware spending much more money. But and uh, he asked to donating to and uh, and many more people, but he can't gather the uh, the much more money, so he closed and uh, his Open Flares best distribution and. Uh, he and uh, he has been claimed that many more open source users, and uh, it is something same issue in the fake this colors and fake and uh, colors and issue, and uh, I think and uh, respect respect is a very important element. To keep the open source licenses, there are the similar distribution software like operating system based on uh, this same inherited software. It is almost the inventing of wheel that you know may hold the software violation traps. If you realize your product is as the invent of a wheel, please check carefully not to meet the violation. The difficulties to teach several OSS licenses. First of all, I felt difficulty to teach several OSS open source licenses because I have read a uh, license description directory. I am sure. I I I am sure, um, the, that students feel the difficulty to understand the licenses. They felt complex to them, and uh, especially in GPL. I need to use approach it. Teach with incident of a license violation and use many quizzes with tentative incidents. Prince of Ultimate on the copyright on the basic element that. Students may judge whether they violate any software license or not. I should teach and uh, what they are in detail and uh, of and uh, famous and famous and in and the uh, open source software license because. And uh, it needs on the those element to judge with the licenses. The lecture last year, the lecture last year, it was the first time to teach. Here's the overview held on 29 May last year, 90 minutes lecture, 90 minutes workshop within Ifgan. I felt 100 minutes might be long for me at first though. It was actually short time to cover all, all, all open source licenses. 
and compliance. And it was annoyed. Ah, sorry, I was annoyed to almost people were online under the COVID-19 situation. I taught at the classroom teach, uh, teach though, the lecture streams via Zoom with Slack to communicate. I felt the difficulties to teach under the hybrid environment because and, uh, I, and I take the faith and, and, uh, to the student find my uh, presentation and lecture going, but I can't see and, uh, the student's face via Zoom. So, and uh, I, feel, I feel some difficulty for that. Fully whole, not defrauded it is, and uh, the dogs. It was written in only Japanese, sorry. This is a lecture side agenda last year. I needed to introduce what software license, uh, license are, how to approach with law. Students should learn the software licenses, principle of private autonomy, law priority and copyright before looking into open software licenses and compliances. They, those are really important elements to understand whole view of software licenses. I also taught software license management by vendors that we need to check several rules in the license to learn the software license deeply. Because on the proprietary software on the as the, on the license based software and uh, has a special rule uh, in their licenses. So, students should learn to uh, the license and, and set in and the by authors with free. Not something like distrib uh, the description in the on the rules for that. <coughs> Comparing licenses and if a proprietary license is also important to check the, its difference and the OSS utilization to a really important dealing with the open source licenses, especially at the GPL when you will label OSS based software. The word is utilization and a really important key when using on the open source software, you know. Because on the almost open source based software and the, if modified by users. For example, you know in the open stack and the uh, launcher and the may some cloud-based software is modified by and users and and the line modify and the launcher and the in their software delivery CICD system and OpenStack is you know is a, and the, it is based on the modify so and the utilization uh, understand you guys it is a very much important to <coughs> understand use open uh, uh, manage open source software I have tried a quiz and a mini workshop to understand 
and the kind of open source and with gamifications. But LGPL, AGPL were difficult to understand students uh, immediately, so I set them an, an appendix to and show some figures to understand. I wanted them to read after my lectures and waiting for a question via flag. Actually, and uh, there are many more issues in the LGPL, AGPL lately, um, but it is very complex and the incident and uh, now for and the students cannot understand and uh, immediately. So and uh, I use more figures and uh, and it's so, uh, the explain words to understand afterwards my fiction. This is a shop, workshop site agenda. I have three tentative uh, cases so that students understand open source licenses. I introduced how to work with others. Legal department, open source goals, open source authors and analysis too in the first stage. Second and third cases, I dare not to give some hint to a student to solve them. I wanted to them to solve by themselves the second and third issue. It is happened and uh, often happened and, and you know if uh, someone emailed to ask you open your source code according to open source licenses. So I wanted to solve at, I wanted to solve at least case two by themselves. It was also trial and error. My lecture was on the trial, trial and error. I have read some books and training talks by Japanese companies about open source license and compliances. I realized it was really important to use the violation incident approaches and use the license check to to understand uh, how to deal with uh, open source licenses and compliances. I checked many more enterprise company docs and uh, they train especially on the development department to understand so that um, they uh, and they understand and they how to deal with it because they and they have to modify and they open for software and uh, in they in uh, daily business and uh, for example they made software by uh, with open source software, so they should know how to deal with and um, software license and uh, in their software. Actually, and I and uh, I have joined and uh, some open source project. Some people don't understand and uh, what how to deal with uh, the, uh, the open source license in the project. <coughs> I have discussed in this on the, how to teach the students before my lectures with the staff. They kindly gave some advices through their experience 
Gamification is a really important element to teach some students. It makes interest learn more and more. They also say in the, in the only lectures uh, may be bored by students because and it rhymes the complex words and more. So uh, they say gamification like quiz and like workshop is really important to understand how to deal with. Feedback uh, students. Fortunately, students gave me a good feedback to me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the feedback back to the students. <laughs> so they say and um, good approaches to the incidents and uh, youth incidents. But sorry for them, I I could not have a time to explain hophrosy and pray hophrosy to under uh, so that they understand how it works. And but and almost and people get feedback, so and they they understand and the relations relation be, and the, between the license with others and law and and the copyright. So and the, uh, some of them and they ask me to and the license issue are related is the IP. Uh, it it is. But it is yes. So uh, IP is a bit, uh, really important lately. So and uh, it is and uh, very much and uh, and it is and uh, bind it and uh, with and uh, licenses. So we should check and uh, when and uh, when IP uh, when and uh, the when the uh, Looking into the IP, so and the uh, also by these licenses. A lecture coming this year. So and uh, <coughs> just thinking of uh, next year. Uh, sorry, just thinking of this year and uh, the lecture last year and uh, it is the first time to teach. And, and and I think it will succeed. It. The coming of uh, this year, and uh, I have been discussing the stuff, the how to improve my lectures. So and uh, I, I now gathering more and more it, in, um, instance, uh, bis, and uh, with such listening and discussing the stuff. And more workshop, and uh, I am planning to to make for. So, and uh, I should have more and more time to and uh, uh, considering so that uh, and the uh, incident workshop and uh, it is a game question to the student to understand how to deal with. So, I think I think. And I have more time, and to and uh, to and uh, plan, and uh, this year's lecture. So any idea, and uh, if you have any ideas, I'm very welcome to and uh, to improve my lecture. This year. Thank you very much. And uh, a decision for so Weather Fun of the Linux Foundation giving some advice on how to teach open source license with his book. Imada Fun and Stack of the University give me a chance to earn some uh, the advice for the, uh, the whole students. Thank you very much for your people who help me and and give and give some advice.
Thank you. Thank you for attending my session. If you have any question, um, please chat me afterward. And uh, if you have any opinion, and give uh, give your advice to me, please feel free email, tweet, and chat and uh, with me afterward. Thank you very much for your time. Any question afterward? Thank you.